This is a meditation for connecting to your intuition. So we're going to begin by following the natural rhythm of our breath, breathing in and out. Just watching the rise and fall of your breath. And you're coming back into center within yourself. Going down to your hip area and just imagining either tree roots going down into the earth, to the core of the earth, or a waterfall going down into the core of the earth, or a ray of light going down into the core of the earth. Just noticing whatever one you feel most comfortable with that helps to ground you. Coming into your body, just feeling strong and stable. Calling forth to the presence of your higher self and your soul, guiding you, and feeling into which form of intuition you feel strongest in. So going over them, there is clairsentient, which is to know something without really knowing how you know it. It comes off of the crown chakra clairvoyant, which is in the third eye. That's where you might have more visual capacity. There's clairaudient, more around the uh, back of the head and the throat area, dealing with clairaudient, the ability to hear information. Dropping down into the heart's wisdom, the heart chakra, picking up on the feelings and the heart wisdom. And then going down into the solar plexus, picking up on uh, the body wisdom and emotions, the earth wisdom. And so just being aware that we have all five of these intuitions intact. But we might have a tendency to lean more into one over another. And so just imagine scanning your body. You can even use your hand if you want, just to run it in front of your body. And I just want you to notice which form of intuition um, comes forth to you or lights up to you or maybe makes a sound. And so again, as you're scanning your crown chakra, your third eye, your forehead area, your throat chakra, your heart, or your solar plexus, I just want you to notice which one either lights up or makes a sound or gets your attention as your primary intuition, the one that you lean most into. And it may not be the one you think. You might be using one unconsciously a lot more than what you realize. Or maybe you've never really thought that much about your intuition, so it might be kind of surprising. But again, just noticing which, which area of your body do you tend to lean into when you're intuitively listening or getting information or guidance. Whichever one shows up for you, I just want you to put your awareness on that particular part of your body. And we're going to call forth now to your guardian angel. That each of us have a guardian angel. And it's a good place to start. Um, using your intuition and starting to participate with it. Just calling forth to your guardian angel. And I want you to sense however you do in that particular part of your body, that form of your intuition, sense your guardian angel coming in and around you. 
And notice, do you see your guardian angel through your third eye or see lights or colors or images? Do you audibly hear your guardian angel? Like, is there a um, kind of a, a sound frequency or can you hear them talking to you? Do you have a clear sentient sense of just knowing that they're there? Do you feel a heart-centered connection with them? Like you can feel their presence, like a, maybe a loving presence or a peaceful presence. Do you feel it in your solar plexus where there's like the hair on your arm stands up or a warmth sensation or like this gut feeling, a, an emotional reaction of just sensing them in your auric field? And now ask your guardian angel for a name or a symbol, a color, a feeling tone that best represents your guardian angel's presence so that when you call to it, you have um, an identifier, you have a way of knowing that's them. Again, so let's start by asking for a name to be presented. You might hear a sound frequency. You might visualize a name being written. You might have a knowingness being downloaded. <clears throat> Just asking for a name of your guardian angel. You can ask them to spell it for you or to sound it out, to write it for you, to whisper it into your ear, to simply download it, to transmit it into your heart. And then you may or may not have gotten a name, but now I want you to ask if there's a symbol or a color or even a fragrance, a symbol that represents them, a color frequency, a sound frequency, a fragrance that again identifies their presence with you. And now asking your guardian angel for any guidance that you might sense, feel, hear, visualize, know. Ask if there's any guidance that your guardian angel can share with you at this time that would be most helpful in your life. Basically just what's in your highest good right now to hear. Okay, and so just noticing that information, how you feel about it. 
There might have been certain life subjects that came up for you. Or just general information that came in. Now ask your guardian angel, is there anything that you can do around your soul blueprint? Is there anything that would be helpful, a, um, a step to take or an awareness that would be most helpful in the joyous fulfillment and happiness and depth of love for your soul blueprint? Is there any guidance about how to proceed on your highest evolutionary path of your soul blueprint? Now just giving thanks to your guardian angel for introducing itself, for coming in, extending its love and consciousness and guidance, acting as your guardian angel, giving it thanks, knowing that you can call upon it at any time. It's a great way to practice with your intuition. It's a great way to get support in your life that would be in your highest and best good. And just remembering to get grounded in your own energy field when you open up to your intuition. Okay, so happy practicing with your intuition. <laughs>